Hello everyone, it's me Andrea. Today I will show you um, more what I made with this rusty stuff I just discovered. Um, here you can see me preparing some um, normal paper. It's a relatively thin paper and I prepare it in the way I showed you in my first video and I will use that later. What I do today is I make a notebook and um, this notebook will be actually a part of a giveaway because I will celebrate my 500th subscribers so um, more information to that um, will be coming up at the end so stay tuned for that and these are, you. I won't use them, I wanted to show you um, only what I did, what else I did with this rusty stuff. I used these cutouts and uh, to try what they will be like and I will show you afterwards the result about that. So this is the cover of the notebook and um, here the, the stamping, that's only a try for me to find out um, this, how I can place that because of course the, even though the stamp is quite big, doesn't... Um, cover the whole piece so that was only a try and it works quite good so for the cover i use only golden fluid acrylics and this is nickel no acrylic acrodon acrodon um um nickel iso gold and i put it on top in different layers and this is a titan buff i used to tone it down a bit because what I will do is some sort of a barn door, old, worn out barn door with rusty hinges and stuff like that. So um, this is the stamp now again to have the wooden look. And these are, I, I, I already assembled that to have a clue about where to put the crackles now. And uh, this, of course, the door will be really, really, I will make it really, really looking old and uh, this, uh, of course, involves crackles as well. And here I make holes with my crop dial into the rusted pieces to um, put some uh, brets through. And these are the brets. I rusted the heads. They are non-rusting stuff, so I, I sanded the heads and put that medium on top, so it rusted really nicely. And um, the crackles had dried now and I wanted to have more so thinner ones I put more layers on top. So this is uh, um, a cheaper paint it's um, Amsterdam uh, Sienna burnt Sienna uh, or umbra, burnt umbra is like very dark and I wanted to have this accentuated in the crackles of course so that's why I um, wipe it off again and now back to the Titan buff to lighten everything a bit out, um, out again or lighten everything up again to, to make the door of course more look bleached out from the sun, the weather, from everything. So, um, and I um, blend it in with the baby wipe again. So that's so far. And then I thought, it's all, all like that, the wood won't be um that um intact so i put some of this uh dark umbra in and a bit of black to give it more depth that it looks like uh, big cracks or yeah big gaps in there in the wood so and i put the rusting rusting or the rusted parts on some foam this crafting foam and you can see the white is is glue still not dry and uh, glued it on that cover and i think that's actually it and now i work on the the cover or on on the notebook itself you have seen me doing that several times so i sped that up quite a lot i i've put some modern paste with bricks on and um, i used on top of that golden um, acrylics again and i toned them down with um, gesso with a brayer and then a bit of this um, nickel also gold I use and that's actually it. Inside I, I wanted to have something completely different color wise and I used my sea green you know I wanted to use a bit of green I love this color you know that and um, 
there you can see I wanted to get out this um, wooden um, wood grain um, what I put through a stencil with modeling paste what wanted to get that out that's what I did and I uh, pick up this um, um, pattern from from the from the cover with this uh, wooden gaps or the, the missing gap or the missing wood so and that's the finished notebook actually um, I really have kept that short you you know the the process basically how it works and I think the cover was the most important part so now that's the finished um, notebook and I kept it quite simple no stamping no other stuff on on top because I wanted the barn door I think it's a barn door to be the focal point I don't want to have it distracted by by something else so that's why I kept it quite simple and um, I really like it so everything's sealed with uh, Liquitex glossy medium varnish medium and um, so it's protected and I will put some uh, pages in that will be watercolor paper and that's the finished product the crackles you can see here wood grain pattern and the outside again that's the reverse and now I will put the pages in I think yeah so these are I need to fill it up with a bit you can put in whatever you want of course but that's it I hope you like it and um, I hope that someone will get it really appreciate it so now you will see me telling you about the giveaway so stay tuned Hello, back again. So you just watched my video and I did I mention it in the video, I can't remember. So I'm having a giveaway because finally I got there. I have my 500th subby. Yippee! Firework! Music! And I want to celebrate that with you. So that means I will have this giveaway to say thank you to all of my subscribers for your nice comments for watching my videos for liking my videos and to for inspire me actually with your comments and with the interaction we have i really really appreciate that when i, I you know it's so fascinating when i think about that people are giving their time to me you know to watch to watch my my videos it's absolutely brilliant because i know we all have have commitments we are working we are parents we are family members and we want to do our own artwork and then this little spare time we have we put into watching other people's videos it's such a great thing and it's uh, yeah I'm, I really I'm really grateful for that and and thanks thanks again I can't be thankful enough actually so that's why I'm having this giveaway now you just saw me making this notebook and I had some close-ups and photos but I will show it again to you here it is and this will be one part of the giveaway you know um here on the book itself there is no title no words because i think it will restrict you how to use it you know when i put travel journal or whatever on it so that's what you can do by yourself put on whatever you like feel free to do that it's yours when you've got it so you can do with it whatever you want 
and uh, you can alter it or put different paper in. I put this watercolor paper in and yeah, so that's this. And um, there is a second part, of course, coming up with this giveaway. A short glimpse, quick and gone. Um, I won't show you everything because it. I think it will spoil the surprise to to that one who will win that. Who will win that? Sorry. Um, so uh, it's it's a typical mixed media stuff in there. So uh, there is something for everyone. And just in case when um, I know who had won it, and I know that person, I can individualize can you say that individualize that a bit more but depends on when i know that person interact with this person i can do that otherwise it will stay as it is with um, bits and bobs from every part of art making paper pens stamps bit of stamp pads yeah stuff like that so you can look forward to that and um, so I will uh, tell you the conditions and I first thing is the book is the first part of the prize and I would like to ask you please do me the favor apply for this giveaway only if you are really appreciate this book because for me the book is the most important part and uh, I saw when um, I put this this notebook videos up that it gets a lot of hits and people really like that so that's what I would like to ask you that's the only um, thing I'm asking you to do so first thing is only when you really really want that and second uh, leave me a comment and Leave me a comment that you apply, nothing else. You don't have to answer something, you don't have to do something. So only leave me a comment that you would like to take part. And um, then, um, you of course, need you need to be a subscriber. That's the next thing. And then you um, have to apply until it will, or better say, the... Uh, giveaway will will stop I think in one week we have the 24th today 24th of May and I will close it at the 31st of May that will be the next Sunday that, that gives you all a week to apply for it and the drawing will take place I think the next day 1st of June or second but I, I hope I will have time enough uh, to do that on the 1st of June so you will see that and um, then that's what I said Joran takes part and that's it actually I think I haven't have I forgot something no I, I when I forget something I will put that down into the prescription box below I will put the conditions up anyway and um, yeah you can read that so I think that's it so I wish you, all of you best of luck so only one can win but I wish all of you best of luck uh, thanks a lot for watching and thanks a lot for being my subby and and putting your time into my videos I really really appreciate that so thanks again and I hope I will see you again with my next video so Bye-bye and good luck to all of you. Bye-bye.